arrested for blogging, an Iranian reporter detained by his government for speaking out. Today, he's talking to us. This is an ISP exclusive. Hi, I'm Tony Masillis, and this is Irregularly Scheduled Programming. After the Iranian government shut down many of the newspapers and magazines there, reporters turned to the internet, blogging to expose oppression in their nation. Ruzba Amir Ibrahimi is one of them. He was arrested in 2004 and held for two months, handcuffed and blindfolded. He agreed to sit down with me today and talk about that experience and also the growing protest movement among young people in Iran. You were detained for two months in Iran. What was that like? Uh, I was in a small jail and uh, I don't have a, any place for walking and uh, only I, the size of my body. What did they accuse you of doing? For example, um, uh, acting against national security. This is same for everybody in Iran. And uh, other things, uh, publication of um, falsehoods. If you working uh, as a journalist in Iran, this is same charge for everybody. So you reported on a case of a Canadian journalist who came to Iran and was imprisoned, and you say was killed in prison. Yes. And that's not a story that the Iranian government wanted to have reported. Yes. Okay. And they uh, they forced to uh, all of journalists and newspapers in Iran for delete this subject. What would happen if you were convicted? What would your punishment be? Uh, my case is still uh, continue in Iranian court, and uh, for each of this charge, I think mi minimum I should go to prison minimum. Uh, one year or six years. From one to six years yeah. for those charges, that's how long you'd but be in for jail? Each, for each charge. For not, each of the eight the counts? Order. Yes. Wow. So that could potentially be a life sentence in prison for those yeah. charges. Yeah. You know, Iran's president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, came here recently, spoke at Columbia University. How did you feel about Columbia inviting him? Uh, I have uh, one problem only when he he want talking uh, like the Iranian president because I don't believe he is uh, Iranian president. Most of the people don't like him, and uh, that election he elected that time. Uh, some people have a protest. Our president here in the United States has said that Iran is part of the axis of evil; that it's a nation that supports terrorism. What do young people in Iran think about America? We trying always uh, make separate between American government and American people. And uh, I believe Iranian and Iranian young people uh, like American people. But maybe some Iranian have a problem with American government, not American people. Uh, I think if some American people go there, I think, have a good time there because mm, the Iranian people like American people. Thanks for watching. You can learn more about Ruzba at our blog, cbsnews.com ISP. I'm Tony Masillis. We'll see you tomorrow.